Hey everyone, Saksham here back again with another video and in this video, we are going to talk about bare metal servers and cloud server. So in the recent video, people have raised a lot of demand uh, related to the bare metal servers and the cloud servers. So in this video, we are going to take a dedicated session in order to make you understand that what is the difference between bare metal and the cloud servers actually. So this is the first time that I'm giving a complete demonstration with the help of a uh, digital pen. So bear with my handwriting. And if you really like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and definitely uh, tell me in comments that how was this session. All right, so let's get started. So in order to understand that what exactly the bare metal technology is, uh, you can say that the bare metal is a dedicated server only. And it is a form of a cloud service in which the user uh, rents a physical machine from a provider that is not at all shared by any other tenants. For example, I'll just uh, make a quick uh, representation so that you can understand better. So suppose uh, if I make a quick representation of the complete mapping of bare metal server. So I, I can say that uh, suppose this is exactly you and uh, this must look like a system actually. So this is you and I can name you as a cloud consumer. So this is uh, where actually the chain begins uh, into the bare metal technology. How it will go? First of all, uh, it will go to, let's say, the step number one. Uh, it will go ahead and it will go to the central deployment system. So the central de de deployment system is responsible to give the responses to the users actually. So I can see that this is the central deployment. system right so this is uh, actually the level before the discovery agent now the role of discovery agent is uh, suppose like this is the discovery agent right here so things will come into good pace of understanding once we'll be done making this graph so that we can go with the step by step thing so uh, suppose that this is our uh, discovery agent Right. So what the discovery agent is doing, like suppose you have like three machines here. Uh, let's say you have this uh, machine number one, uh, you have this machine number two in here. And suppose you have this uh, physical machine number uh, three in here. And what it is actually telling that it is uh, asking the discovery agent to deploy uh, whatever the request user is sending from like we have one more uh, stage in here. That is the stage number three. Uh, that is being uh, like it could be your uh, portal or somewhat like that. For example, in that case, you were uh, downloading the ISO of Kali Linux. So that portal was the website where you were requesting your central deployment system in order to receive the ISO of Kali Linux. So in that case, the discovery agent will see that which of these systems are free and then it will uh, you know give you the request or it will deploy the request which will help the cloud consumer to consume the content whichever is there now why uh, unlike traditional cloud computing uh, it is also based on virtual machines only but bare metal servers do not come with hypervisors pre-installed uh, for example, like VMware, VMware is one of your hypervisor as well. Now, the good thing about this is it gives uh, the user a complete control over their server with their infrastructure. Now, since the user is getting a complete control over the physical machine with bare metal, or you can say a dedicated server, they have the flexibility to choose their own operating system right here, right? So a bare metal server helps to avoid the noisy neighbor challenges as well. You know, when you when I'll be making the cloud server inf infrastructure, you'll understand better that how it will, uh, you know, avoid the noisy neighbor challenges into the infrastructure. And it will also allow the user to finely tune the hardware and software for a specific data intensive uh, workload, you can say, because you have the complete uh, control over the system in the case of bare metal technology. So when I make the complete infrastructure of cloud, you will understand that there is a huge difference between bare metal and cloud right here. Because what happens is, uh, like suppose uh, these are the systems of your cloud machine, like you have the system in here, you have the systems in here as well. Like suppose you have all of these systems and they are basically connected to the hypervisors. Uh, so you can see that 
uh, these all of these uh, you know uh, machines you can say are the pool of physical machines so let's say these are the pool of physical machines right now what is actually happening up with their physical machines is now this is also connected over here this is also connected over here somewhere i'll tell you where it is connected so these are connected with the multiple instances right and they are all going up where something that i had a word about uh, just few seconds back that was your hypervisor right so uh, here you can see that this could be uh, your layer for your hypervisor now you understand the difference uh, here your discovery agent was actually uh, deploying your central systems directly you didn't had any hypervisor in here but here in the case of cloud servers uh, you had the hypervisors with a lot of vms you can say a lot of vms are right here right so now these vms are you know connected with a lot of uh, other neighbors you can say like i was stating uh, earlier so what actually happening is that in this pool these are the virtual uh, machines and the user applications as well so these are the virtual machines and these are the user applications as well right so these user apps are what for example uh, there could be a lot of uh, user apps uh, i'll just change the color for the better demonstration so these apps are what it could be your mysql or any of the database you can say it could be your db right uh, suppose if you are using your office or if you are using your word or the office applications right it could be that it could be any of your other services or you can say the settings for which things are moving up or maybe uh, you know if you are surfing something uh, to any third party thing or if you even if you are you know setting up a server for mail servers right uh, these could be your mail servers as well right so these are the different different uh, applications what is happening after that uh, they are going to the other uh, layer into the cloud you can say so that other layer could be resource management interface so this is the main layer that is you know maybe increasing the bill of your cloud services or maybe they are decreasing the bill of your cloud services right so this resource management interface is taking uh, care of your uh, let's say app request as well and this is taking care of your sla negotiations as well uh, this is taking care of your all the vm requests as well so whatever you are requesting the resource management is taking care of the users basically so i'm going to connect the users over here so suppose uh, these are the users right here so they are all connected to these resource management layer so there could be like uh, n number of users that are connected over there you can say right so all of these users are connected with this resource management layer so this will also you know uh, this is also somewhere useful as well for example uh, here you are giving uh, the cost for of a very dedicated machine but resource management is allowing you to uh, use as much services and as much of bandwidth as much you want so right there are a lot of pros as well and there are a lot of cons as well so this was a quick graph in order to make you understand the difference between bare metal and the cloud servers but now the question arises that why do you use a bare metal server because you know bare metal server is also a top class thing and cloud servers are undoubtedly the most powerful thing today so in uh, bare metal you can customize uh, it your way like you can have a great number of cores uh, and you have versatile storage uh, you have extensive memory and whenever you need your data you can access it the latest technology is always useful for the management and it is easy and you can also enjoy the highest level of data encryption uh, which is visible to you only and there are a lot of cons as well for the bare metal technology for example the prices are so high and it is customizable but yes uh, there is a lot of cost involved with the customization because when you shift the servers uh, then it gets too messy you know when you customize it and it is down for a mean time and it is not auto scalable right the cloud is auto scalable we have seen that but the bare metal servers are 
not auto scalable. But if you talk about the cloud server, it is highly customizable as well. It has a lower cost. Uh, it has a less chances of hardware failures as well because uh, it runs on HA infrastructure. Uh, you are not paying for any idle hardware like you are paying in bare metal uh, because you are taking the complete dedicated machine in here, but you are not paying for any idle hardware into the cloud servers. If we go on a deep dive in terms of just CPU, not the bare metal and cloud, uh, then we can compare that the processor aspect of cloud server and a dedicated server can have a similar number of cores as well. And the clock speeds uh, then result to a clear and obvious things out there. And your dedicated server will outperform the cloud server because it has a physical and the direct access uh, to the processing resource, you can say. And also the dedicated server also has a quicker priority and the access to the processor cache as well. You also need to know that a single core of the latest generation of processors will often carry multiple threads per core. And a CPU is, however, is a thread uh, rather than a core, you can say. And that being said, not all hosting providers give you the same CPU model and all CPU models does offer the different frequencies. And if we go ahead and see it the storage wise, then uh, generally the bare metal server uses the local storage and the cloud server are likely to use a network attached storage block. Both can also be using HDD as well as the SSD storage that is also a flash based. All hosting is different here depending on the technology and the hardware we use. And it can also affect the quality of service supply. So it really depends on what infrastructure you are using according to which need. Both are best, but you know, if there is the guy who is setting up the right architecture for you, it could be useful for you. Because see, in the case of Kali, bare metal is the finest architecture that you can give them. But if you are hosting a lot of things, your applications, or maybe uh, you are hosting a lot of video services and these kind of applications are there, then the cloud servers are the finest. So this was a quick difference uh, between the bare metal and cloud servers. I hope you liked this quick session onto the bare metal and cloud server. And if you really like it, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And this was the first time that I've given the session with the help of digital pen. So if you really liked it, don't forget to give a feedback into the comment section that will mot motivate me to make such of more informative videos. So that's it for today's video. I'll see you again tomorrow with another video.